Hi everybody, what's up? My name is Cree Gentile and I am your brand strategist, designer, and consultant. And I wanted to talk to you today about typography and in more specific terms, I'm talking about the five typesets that you need to know as a business owner or someone who is creating graphics for your business uh, because all of the different types of fonts and typesets, they all communicate different things. So I want to uh, walk you through exactly what typesets that there are. There's five main typesets, um, what they mean. And today in part one, we're gonna be starting with the first typeset and that is serif fonts. So there's five. So the first is serif fonts. The second is sans serif fonts. The third are designer fonts. The fourth are script scripted fonts. And the fifth are dingbats, so little icons. So we will go in, all, in depth into all of these in the next coming videos. So this video, stay tuned. We're gonna talk about serifs, uh, what they mean, how they're characterized, when you use them, when you don't use them, what they look like. We're gonna go through some of the famous brands that um, use serif fonts and their own logos right now. And yeah, we're gonna break them down so you know exactly which to choose and when you need to. Okay, so what are serif fonts and when do I use them? So here is a serif font. As you can see, the biggest characteristic of serif, serif fonts are these little tails on the end of each of their letters and numbers. So the reason that people would use, the reason why you would use a serif font is if you want something that's very legible, something that's easy on the eye, the main reason serif fonts were used back in the day and still now currently is they use them a lot of times in magazines and newsprint and in books because these little tails on the ends of the, the letters and numbers, they ground these letters. So it's much easier as you're reading a sentence or a paragraph to uh, pay attention to the words that you're reading and to stay focused. It's just much more legible on the eye, which is why you'll see serif fonts are much more used in publications. Some of the different characteristics of a serif font, like I just said, there are these tails. So here's an old style serif font. Here's more of a slab style serif font. Regardless, they have the tails on the end and these are these work really great in newsprint. Um, they're the little decorative flourishes on the end of each stroke and letters and symbols. Now, associations of serif fonts. So every single typeset is going to have its own unique qualities and characteristics. And it's up to you to choose the right fonts uh, in order to attract the right type of clients that you're seeking. So serif fonts are often associated with the words reliable, impressive, respectful, authoritative, tra traditional, and that is because they were used in old style publications and magazines and books. And so they have a sense of prestige because of their class and elegance. They are timeless and iconic. They've been around forever. Part of them brings about an energy that is um, luxurious and powerful and almost wisdom-like and education-like. So if you are in the field of education or maybe you're in the industry of um, the law or um, wealth, like private wealth management or banking, those are the types of businesses that are going to use serif fonts frequently because they have that loyal aspect to them, that bold, iconic, trustworthy aspect to them. Um, they say class, they say elegance, they're traditional, they're conservative. So all of these words, those are the types of associations that follow a serif font. So if you are looking to find a client that fits those characteristics, or if you want to be remembered in by having those characteristics, then you're going to want to use a serif font to innately communicate that to your audience that you that you know that you are reliable, that you're impressive, that you're respectful, that you're authoritative and traditional. 
So the top five serif fonts that you can get started with using are Times New Roman, Bodoni, which is uh, one of my ultimate favorite fonts. I love using Bodoni. That's a lot of fun, especially in all caps. Um, and it's always fun to work with all of these in all different types of um, formats. So playing with their bold qualities, playing with italic qualities. Um, serif fonts look really good as italics. Um, so yeah, Georgia is number three. Garamond is also a really beautiful font. I love using Garamond and Baskerville. Uh, that's an awesome font as well. So these are the top five most popular serif fonts. So if you want to stick within these associations, you want to choose one of these top fonts. Now, a serif font, like I said, is going to attract someone who's iconic, conservative, full of wisdom, again, because it has nodes back to books and publications and school, um, education, wisdom, wealth. Um, so they're trad traditional and, uh, to, and very loyal. So these are, this is the type of person that you're going to attract when you use a serif font. And here are some serif fonts in the real world. So we have Dior, we have Heineken. Heineken has a very uh, interesting font here. It has little serifs on certain letters and certain letters don't, like the, you don't see it on the E, a little bit on the I and the N, so that's pretty cool. Uh, deep rooted in tradition, definitely. Um, a traditional beer, also something that's higher um, quality beer, so that definitely shines through by using serif fonts. Tiffany's, obviously, luxury, wealth, um, prestige, class, iconic. Oh my gosh, all of the words that we described earlier, so it isn't any wonder that they're using a serif font. Um, same with Burberry, same with Dior, L'Occitane. They all have such deep-rooted history, um, these are classic and iconic brands, all of them. JP Morgan, Sirius, Education, Wealth, um, Zara is another beautiful logo. Again, it just says classic, timeless pieces, which they have. They're just all iconic and they stand the test of time. Vogue, same thing. Mercedes-Benz, Time is a, ma is a magazine publication. So again, we see the serif font and, um, yeah, it's it's grounded, it's nice and bold, and it's iconic. The New York Times has its own version of the little tails on the ends of each letter. Very interesting how they brought some script into this, like calligraphy, I love that. Rolex is another huge, luxurious, um, iconic brand. So again, when you are speaking to someone with wealth that is in the luxury field, that um, is iconic, classic, traditional, conservative, you want to use a serif font. So I hope that was helpful for you. Again, here are your top five serif fonts to go run and, and play around with. Here are the different associations and different you know characteristics of the person that's going to be attracted to a serif font. And yeah, just remember, serif fonts are the, the fonts with the little tails on the end of them, and they're awesome for legibility and publications. Okay, I hope that was really helpful for you. If you have a classic traditional brand, then serif fonts are the right choice for you. Um, if not, if you're looking for something a little more modern and contemporary, you wanna stay tuned because up next, we are going to be talking about sans serif fonts and what their characteristics are, who they're going to attract, and what they look like in today's industries. So, um, stay tuned, and yeah, if you have any questions about serif fonts, just shoot them over to me. I'm happy to help.